You know, I told somebody today, so I never see rattlesnakes. <laughs> Look at that little fella. Crazy. Here's my spot for last night. But we're being loud and everything, and she doesn't care. That's how many people hunt. something I'm here uh, hunting my buddy Justin at his place outside of Norway and I'm gonna be hunting along the edge of a cornfield today that they're gonna pick I would say probably within the next three to five days and the deer have been eating on the corn as you can see right here and um, there's a ground blind down here with a shooting lane up into the trees and a shooting lane down along the uh the corn so um it's early season south carolina in the lower half of the state you can hunt bucks early in the year all you can shoot are, are bucks but they're in velvet so it's pretty cool it's like the earliest rifle season in the country so go down here and maybe we'll see one will come out tonight
What's up guys? It's like three days since I was over here last. I think it's the 29th of August. They still have not cut the corn. Um, I'm guessing it's because the field might still be a little wet. I don't know. Uh, or they're just not ready to. I mean, the corn's ready, but we're going to slip back in here to the stand where we saw the doe and the fawn the other night. Or the ground blind where we saw the doe and the fawn the other night. And um, see if a buck will come out this time. Justin's hunting one of the fields that's right over here uh, over my shoulder. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Let's slip in there and uh, get to waiting. Well guys, I just shot a buck. It was so dark in the blind. I was afraid if I turned the camera on it would light it up. And it's too dark to see. You can see his white belly right there. I dropped him. But um, I'm pretty sure he's a, a really nice six point. Like three bucks came out. And uh, one was a, a small eight point, probably like 12 or 14 inches wide. And um, I could see there were two more deer and there was a big one in the trees and um, I could tell he was significantly bigger by his body and um, that's my phone going off and uh, then I saw him he's I'm pretty sure he's still full velvet the other one was hard horned so I'm excited we'll go look at him in just a second we are gonna walk down here and see what he looks like you see the sun setting behind me it just it gets so dark in that blind so fast and the camera puts off light and then I, I even tried you couldn't see it but it's still plenty of shooting light let's see let's go see what it looks like i thought he was a big six that's what he is It's a nice buck. Not a giant, but a, a good one. A really, really big body on him. I could tell body-wise he was significantly larger than the other ones that were there. I hate I couldn't get footage, but I just couldn't. He's starting to peel his velvet right there. He's slipping a little on this side. Here we go.
buck was probably, you know, like 140 pounds or something. And he was, they come from back there. Yeah. Well, when I looked up, I was, I don't think I was playing on my phone. Or, no, I, I don't know. I just would look this way and look this way and they were back. Right. And the one was coming here and I looked my binoculars and I'm like, oh gosh, that's a buck. And then I saw, I was like, well, he ain't, he ain't that big. And I saw something move back behind him. I said, okay, there's still a bat for her. And they come up and the big buck, he was, he was in here. And a small one was walking up the lane, and finally he come out this way, and I could see him. I Gonna put them up, see what it'll what it'll weigh. One sixty four. This could be a messed up video thing. Probably the first time you've ever been here. Alright guys, I'm here. Uh, this is Mr. Kelvin right behind me and my buddy Justin. And I've known them for a long time. But if you guys are in the Norway Nieces area and you want to see a bunch of deer, or if you got a deer to get processed, come up here and uh, check it out. And uh, Mr. Kelvin will take good care of you. So I really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if you're not a subscriber to the channel, please consider doing so. And we'll see you next time.